A very good afternoon to you and welcome to another episode of Viva Africa 2019. I am your host Mukami Wambora and we have an incredible show lined up for you. Of course, yesterday's games were fire. Eight goals in three matches in just three matches, eight goals. We'll be taking a look at all of those goals and today, if you're looking right in front of me, 55,000 Kenya shillings up for grabs for the quick fire and as usual i'm going to give you guys leakage start your research now all of the questions today will be about the nicknames of the various teams kenya harambe stars start your research that's all i'm giving away 12 questions eight of them correct 55,000 kenya shillings the number will be on your screen you'll call later on in the show i'll let you know when to start calling so yes i've given you a hint already and as i promised you yesterday we have a very special guest in studio we have the egyptian ambassador mr khaled al abiyad i hope i have pronounced your name correctly <laughs> he'll be here we'll be talking to him about all the various things about egypt if you want to make it down for the afghan there's still time He'll explain how, the culture, the tourist sites, and of course, we'll talk a bit about the game Egypt are playing DR, DR Congo tomorrow. So we'll be speaking to him about that. And yet again, Nimrod Tabu is here to keep me company. Abarigani <laughs> Nimrod. Niko salama kabisa mukami asante sana. Yet another wonderful opportunity to just, you know, be a host in this show. It's an amazing time. Uh, I am holding a phone mukami and a bowl. One of these uh, I will give away together with one, two, three, four, five more. Um, so, uh, well, of course, I'm not giving away my phone. I'm a and it's not an iPhone, but that's a story for another day. But hey, listen, there's another beautiful, you said not soccer ball, football, eh? Yes, that we're going to give away, thank courtesy you, of DSTV. You. And this is what we want to do. The reason why I'm holding this phone is that we want you to take pictures of yourself, Angalia Mimi. Take a picture of yourself watching Viva Africa 2019, Citizen TV. See your Afcon 2, Citizen TV. Now, Sky Kama Mimi, if you have a picture, even at TVZ, we want you to be creative, right? That's the idea, yep. right? It could be you together with your folks, your parents, your friends, and whatever. Take a picture of yourself watching this special program, and you might be lucky, you might be one of the winners of yes. these footballs. How you do it is you send a picture to our... Twitter handles at Mukami Wambora at Nimrod Tabu and remember our hashtag is Viva Africa 2019 also at Citizen TV. Amasivo. Pia vile vile tuko na mgeni wetu acha nimtangulize tu kwa kumtambulisha jina and I'll have a couple of questions for him. Bwana Philip Mwaniki is a corporate affairs manager Multi Choice Kenya. Karibu sana. Bila shaka we'll be talking about these things. We'll be talking about the bouquets on DSTV and how wonderful this experience has been so far for yourselves and the fans who are watching Afcon via DSTV. Mukami back to you. Yep, and I can see there's also t T-shirts, there's also a hat, so there are actually a lot of giveaways. And here we're joined by Cameroonians, of course, they have their first game of the tournament and they're defending champions, so there's a lot at stake for them. So they're going to come talk to us about the team, how confident they are ahead of the game, and of course on the decks, there's finally a lady on the decks and I'm proud to introduce her, that is DJ Vera. She will be giving us all of the mixes. Maybe I can just start with you, DJ. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Karibu sana. Ladies first, as, as, know, as, as we say it's ladies allowed, first, allowed. DJ, um, you're telling me you don't know that much about football, but at least, you you tell me, you know at least something. Who's the captain of Harambe Stars? Captain, I don't know. I know Victor Wanyama. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You have you to say it loudly. Right. You have yeah. to say it loudly. <laughs> yeah, Victor Wanyama. That was correct. That was in the quick fire. Did, she, did, she, did, she, just, did she just whisper Victor yeah. Wanyama? Victor Wanyama. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. Now, <laughs> tell me what kind of music you like to play, or do you just play all types of music? Where where can people find you mixing? Like, I, uh, I do play all types of music apart from roots and roots. Yeah, and you can find me on social media at DJ Vera, Facebook DJ Vera254, Instagram DJ Vera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Roba, the director, is asking if you're related to Vera Sidika, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take him seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your favorite type of music that you like to play? Hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be hearing some hip hop tunes um, throughout the show. Um, let's just um, just talk to you guys very quickly. Um, 
just very quickly, brief one. Um, seeing how the other teams have played in the competition, are you worried about any team? No, we can't be worried about Indomitable Lions because we are holding this title and we are coming to Egypt to defend that title as Lions. So we are quite confident and we know that we will make it tonight against Guinea and for the rest of the competition. Okay, okay. Mm. I'll be coming back to you guys. You'll also give me your lineup. Um, we just want to now take a look at those games that were there yesterday. Three games. The latest one was at 11 p.m. It was Mali versus Mauritiana. Mali produced three stunning goals as they thumped African Cup of Nations debutants Mauritiana 4-1 in in Suez, handing their neighbours a very harsh lesson in their first ever match at the African Cup of Nations. Angola salvaged a surprise but deserved one all draw against their opponents Tunisia in the African Cup of Nations opener. And finally, the other match that was played yesterday was between Ivory Coast and South Africa. Ivory Coast edging South Africa 1-0 in that game. Now remember the Afghan tournament will be available on Super Sports 7 which is available on DSTV Family, DSTV Compact, DSTV Compact Plus and DSTV Premium and there'll be a few selected games that will also be available on DSTV Access on Super Sport 10. They have all the 52 games so be sure to tune in to that. Remember now our question of the day we are asking you on Twitter should Sebastian Minier change his starting 11 and if he should what who should he replace and who should he put in that starting 11 in that crucial game against Tanzania. Let us know. Use the hashtag Viva Africa. You can find us at Citizen TV and at Mukami Wambora and at Nimrod Tabu. We'll be looking for Bernard and once we get him, we'll, 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 we'll catch up with him. But now, I, I just want to now head on over to the Egyptian ambassador and just talk to him a little bit. Thank you so much for, for coming coming to see us and visiting us here at Citizen TV. Um, just to start things off, you've seen um, the internet connection has been a bit of a problem. I'm hearing a few countries are complaining about that. What do you think is happening um, or not happening? No, actually we, we usually have a good internet connection, probably maybe because like there are too many uh, reporters uh, reporting at the same time. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's uh, just causing some difficulties, but I'm sure it would be solved uh, okay. in the okay. course of the few coming days. Yeah. Now, a lot of people I'm sure have traveled from Kenya as well and all over Africa. Maybe for those who are at home and are still thinking of whether they should travel, how easy is it to travel? What do they need to actually go and watch the African Cup of Nations games in Egypt? Yeah, actually, it's pretty easy. They just need uh, hotel reservation, um, plane ticket, of course, and um, any proof, like a letter from the world, that they're going to the AFCON. And um, they'll come to the embassy, uh, fill the necessary forms, and they'll probably get it at the same day. Uh, so on the same day you yeah. walk in with the visa and walk out? If they go early enough, they'll get it the same day. It's a <laughs> promise. Okay, and what can people who travel to Egypt ex expect? I know all of us, we just know about the pyramids. What other tourist attractions uh, are there in Egypt that people would love to see after they've finished watching the matches? Yeah, actually, there are lots of things. It's, it's quite diverse. You have, of course, the... Um, you can divide it actually, like, to the pharaonic Cairo. You have the pyramids, Sphinx. Uh, um, you have the Islamic Cairo, which is Islamic Museum, and all the uh, historical mosques. You have Coptic Cairo, which is uh, like the Hanging Church, the Greek Church of St. George, which is actually this area um, where the Holy Family uh, stayed in. Um, you have like the Citadel, uh, of course, you have like the Nile Cruises, uh, so many things. Yeah, are the prices really expensive, like entry tickets or they're, they're affordable? No, no, they're quite affordable. Okay. And just tell us a bit about like your, the food. What should people expect to eat? Like what's your favorite food, for example, <laughs> from Egypt? Of course, you have like, uh, I don't know, you have like the fat that the rice is, is like our main dish and it's cooked in like, like maybe tens different ways depending on the region. Um, uh, so you have fatta, you have koshari of course, which is like quite popular. You have the full beans, tamaya, um, you have malukhaya, um, 
We love. What is what is that? Malukhiya, it's kind of a, it's a vegetable. It's a green vegetable. It's uh, a little bit like spinach, but like it's, it's okay. a little from maybe from the same family. You can say. Okay, okay. And just a bit about the weather. We've noticed in the games they're having to stop for breaks. That yeah. minutes and seventy-five. So, <laughs> what what temperatures is is it reaching there? And how what should people expect? Should they how should they dress for? Yeah, like it's it's it, yeah. I have to. Admit, it's pretty pretty warm right now. Um, it's like they should wear like t-shirts, uh, like really light light clothes, and expect that it can be a little bit humid. Uh, at night, the uh, weather becomes like like a little bit nicer, but it's 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 quite uh, warm and humid, so they should take care of that. They should drink lots of water, of course. So it's like Mombasa, or it's hotter. Hotter than Mombasa. I don't know if you've been I, to Mombasa. I've been to Mombasa actually a couple of months ago. Yeah. Um, like, but, but it was very humid at that time. And definitely it's not as humid as Mombasa. Uh, but uh, it, I don't know how, how how warm it is in Mombasa. But like in Cairo, you can see it's, it can reach like 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, okay. Now it will be a final for us against Tanzania. To expect maybe to and to do him to be qualified, but at least uh, to write the story for Kenya because we never won the reality. One game in the final tournament, except one, but without stake against Burkina uh, 15 years ago. Uh, so it would be an opportunity maybe to, to win one for the first time. And after we will see. But From what Sebastian Minier, Nimro Tabu, it is a must win for Kenya against uh, Tanzania. A must win. Bila shaka, pale hakuna mchezo. Lakini pia tuamini kwamba wa Tanzania pia na amini hivo hivo kwamba for them this is a must win because remember they will lost the opening match uh, to Senegal. So it's it's going to be tough. This is this is a, going to be a really really tricky group for us. But uh, let's wait and see. As they say, it's a game of wait and see and a lot of hopes. Uh, but right now uh, I've joined um, two Cameroonian fans who live and work in Kenya, I believe. Uh, if Tene and uh, Blaze, thank you so much for being with us. Um, Cameroon today is playing Guinea-Bissau. Uh, this will be their first game yeah. uh, in this tournament. Of course, coming in as uh, well, should I say, top dogs uh, because you're the, the defending champions. But I'm looking at the qualifications. Uh, wasn't a pretty one for for Cameroon, if you'll agree with me. Um, one one against Comoros, one nil against Malawi. Nil nil against Malawi again and then beaten by Morocco 2 nil and then they played a friendly with Brazil, they lost 1 nil. Played another friendly with Zambia, they won 2 1. Then they played the last friendly, I believe, uh, against Mali and it was 1 1. Mali yesterday won 4 1. Do you think they are properly prepared for this tournament this time round? Oh, there's too much pressure. Let me start with you, please. When we look at the collection of players which we have, I'm very much confident that we are. Our guys are quite prepared for the tournament. The players which we have, like we had uh, the analysis which we did last time, yes. we realized that uh, among the 23 players that were called, all of them are international players, mm -hmm. playing on international teams mm -hmm. outside the country. Does that give you a lot of confidence? That gives us uh, a psychological an edge, boost. obviously an edge over the other teams maybe perhaps? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Out of the 23 players which were, are participating, 10 participated in the African Nations Cup in Gabon two years ago. Mm -hmm. So we see that they, they, they are experts. And that makes us, uh, it gives us a psychological boost. It gives us an energy which we think, as defending champion, uh -huh. we think we are going to bring back the trophy. Ah, great. Um, against Guinea-Bissau tonight, uh, what's your expectation? Um, are you fearful about Guinea-Bissau? Is, is it a team that you're not aware of? I think uh, as, we, are, as a fan. we are coming. Uh, we are coming with a lot of confidence, and we are very sure that we are going to to make it against Guinea Bissau. It's not our tougher game. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are waiting to play uh, okay. Ghana, uh -huh. which will and, be the second match. Yeah. yeah, and as we are prepared, as we were preparing during the qualifiers, it was mo uh, one of our problems. We were still constructing the team with our new coach, uh, Clarence Sidov. So tonight we expect uh, the first result to start shining against Guinea. Um, when you look at this team generally, and for yeah. both of you, um, you've got, uh, of course, yourselves, Cameroon, then you've got Guinea-Bissau, you've got Ghana and Benin. 
Um, obviously, on paper, just by looking at this uh, um, um, uh, group, uh, it, it looks as if that uh, you know Ghana and Cameroon might qualify. But it's not just that easy, isn't it? Um, which teams between uh, ben, uh, Benin and Guinea-Bissau do you think will be problematic? I think we should be very careful of this team of Benin because the way they qualified uh, in their group against Algeria, Gambia and Togo, they are very promising and they can be they can make the surprise in that group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Cameroonian first, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And also Benin, you should be very careful about Benin. Okay. Yeah. A lot more is usually said during tournaments like this because people are always looking at the defending champions and of course the host country. Um, this time it's uh, Egypt. Egypt, of course, has won uh, this tournament more uh, times than any other African country. Um, what do you think or what do you make of their performance so far? And uh, um, do you think uh, this will be a great opportunity for Cameroon to go all the way and hopefully meet Egypt who, even them, they're hoping that they'll go all the way and get to the final. And how, how, how important would that uh, match be if, if it were to happen that way? Yeah, when, when I look at the statistics, Egypt is leading Cameroon in terms of uh, lifting the the car the trophy. Egypt, I think, is six times uh, champions of Africa, or seven times champions of Africa, and Cameroon is five. That is the second in Africa. Uh, we are coming in with full gear to meet up with that expectation. We have that in mind that Egypt is uh, a tough team and that uh, they are also trying to maintain their position in Africa. But we are also coming in as the second runner trying to beat up the target. So I think we are going to hit the target. We are going to lift up the trophy and bring it back home. Hopefully that's good. There's a lot of controversies in the background with regards to the team. Um, you guys, you were the last team to arrive um, in the African Cup of Nations. Allowances hadn't been paid. The emergency meetings had to be had back in Cameroon. Do you think that will affect the players psychologically or how do you think that will affect them now coming into the tournament? Are they fully focused on playing football? Are those issues going to affect how they perform on the pitch? Uh, I think it's uh, one of the problems that can happen in any African country and Cameroonian, us as Cameroonian we are used to such scenario even in 2017 we faced that uh, scenario and we end up being champions of Africa <laughs> so I don't think uh, players they are already used to I don't think they are psychologically affected and they are going to play the game they are going to make it Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, remember we're asking you at home, what changes does Sebastian Minier need to make to the Harambe Stars starting lineup? Let's just take now a quick look at some of your feedback and what you people back home are saying. Danilo Mwangi says Minier should for once swallow his pride mm -hmm. and give Kalaba a starting berth against the Taifa Stars. He brings the much needed experience and leadership at the heart of defence. Then we have at Duke Samoa who says he should remove all players above 27 <laughs> from the squad. <laughs> no way a 34-year-old will play with a 22-year-old and win. <laughs> then we have Saddam Ali who says start with Marcelo and Johanna, Mo Johanna Omolo. <laughs> Then we have Dennis Anda Sampaio who says he should rest Francis Kahata for Eric Oma. Dennis Odiambo for Johanna Omolo and Musa Mohamed for Joa Shonyango. If he's fit, we need to be more offensive than defensive. So just keep those views coming in. I'm seeing some of the pictures that are being sent. Remember, we want to see you in the picture as you're watching. You know, you could just take a picture and someone <laughs> forwards. We want to see you on screen. So take a selfie. Take a selfie and just send it to us. With just, yeah, that's what you <laughs> We're giving away those balls, a lot of merchandise, there's also t-shirts, there's also caps. So remember, rules are simple, just take a selfie watching the show, tag at Citizen TV Kenya, at Nimrod Tabu and at Mukami Wombora. There are a lot of things to give away and we're giving them away right after this break.